guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today I am all over the place. The place, as you can see, is a complete tip. We're unpacking and packing fashion weeks and washing and everything is everywhere. So I'm just feeling really kind of panicked anyway, because I hate it when things are a mess. Hello, darling. Hello. Also, this, this camera is driving me a little bit insane. I'm gonna get a new camera, I think. This is the Sony V Z something. It was really expensive. It was meant to be like the best new vlogging camera and all that kind of thing. And in some ways it's it was good, it is good, but there's so many things that are just wrong. Like I just tried to start this vlog and realized that the anti-shake was off. So I had to kind of re redo all the settings and I'm like, I'm not touched that. Why, why has it changed? So I'm gonna buy a new camera. And the coffee machine has broken our incredible Siemens EQ something, like the top top of the range one, which is just so good, it's broken. Uh, I mean, we've had it a couple of years, and to be fair, we we do a lot of co we make a lot of coffee in that, so I'm not kind of surprised. But I'm very sad that I can't have a coffee today. Um, so that again is bringing me. I know. I know. I think you can sense my sadness, can't you, about the coffee machine with that in your eyes. This one is being extremely needy today. All last night he was sleeping in the in the crook of my legs or being little spoon all night and then he'd get a bit hot and then he'd get on top of the covers and then he'd come and like poke my arm just so we could get back under the covers again. You just need a little bit of attention I think, don't you? I think maybe he's just been missing mummy and daddy. So today, anyway, today I have some gorgeous new autumn essentials that I want to show you. Just some beautiful new things that I've added to my wardrobe that are, for me, serious like autumn essential pieces that you can pick up to go with everything else in your wardrobe. I bought some absolute goodies last autumn and so I've got a lot of good things to wear for the season ahead which is really exciting. Um, but I just wanted to add a few new pieces in there and I found some absolute gems on Farfetch. So this video is going to contain a paid for advertorial with Farfetch just so I can show you some new pieces. So let me just head upstairs and I can just whiz through everything and then what I intend to do is show you me wearing them in situ out and about in the rest of the vlog. Instead of me just trying them on in my closet you can actually see them in action. I thought that would be better than me kind of doing a bit of a try on now. So let me show you though because there are some really stunning pieces that I found. So I think you might like them. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for this. I have snacks, cranberries and cashews. I've got a barocca to make me feel a bit better. I have a sidekick and he has a ball so all is right with the world. Hi. Hello, you have lipstick on your head, don't you? Yes, you do. By the way, guys, I hope that you like it when I film here. I can't, I kind of like it. It's got the natural light from the window. You know, it's just my wardrobe backdrop. I hope you like it. I don't think I've even asked you before. Okay, that's better. Bo, Bo's gone downstairs because Alex is back. Right, let me just show you a few of these really lovely pieces that I picked up. First up, most exciting bit is 10% off, as always when I film these videos. You can get 10% off Farfetch with the code VICTORIAYT10. I must admit I also use these discount codes for myself. Yeah, so treat yourself if you'd like to. Right, let's get stuck in. First kind of essential for autumn that I think you need are just loads of really good layers. So I picked up this bodysuit. As you know, I'm a bodysuit fan, mainly because I like things to be tucked into trousers anything that's high-waisted, really slick, clean line and tucked in, that's why I like a bodysuit. A really high scoop neck with little straps down to the back. It's really quite flattering um, and this is the most incredible price. It's less than £30 I think for this bodysuit. In fact this entire brand, definitely have a peek at it because it's really really great prices. The reason this is so good for autumn though is because it's a layering thing. You can layer this underneath your cardigans, your jumpers. By the way I'm still feeling ill, hence why my voice is breaking. So underneath knitwear, cardigans, underneath your blazers. If you've never shopped from Farfetch before the way it works is that there are a number of boutiques around the world who sell via Farfetch. So the chances are that when you buy something, it might be coming from anywhere in the world. It just means that much smaller boutiques who you would maybe never visit on a corner in Ukraine 
or Italy, for example, they are able to get their stock and their products out there to the bigger, wider customers of Farfetch. So this came from Italy. This came from a little boutique in Italy all the way to me. So I love it, I'm keeping it, I have worn it already. Next up, I bought, again, my favourite pair of Stella McCartney faux leather trousers. I have had my other ones now for must be four years. I mean, you've seen how often I've worn them. They are the most incredible quality and fit. It's a cropped leg. It's not super tight and fitted, but they're also really lovely and warm. Um, they look great on the boudet. I always go for like the smaller size in these just so they're really like super flattering. So I, for example, I think I have the 34 in these. The reason I bought them again is because after all those years, four years worth of wearing them constantly, and they're probably my most cost per wear piece ever. I noticed there was a little tiny bit of flaking on a knee where I think I've bent down and it's scraped the knee, but I don't want that to put you off these because like I say, that's four years worth of wearing these continuously. That's the first time they've done it. And to be honest, I've been wanting to buy a second pair anyway, just in case they ripped. In fact, in fact, I remember now, a few months ago, they actually ripped on the bum. I kind of like sat and was like, whoo, and they ripped. And I actually sewed them myself and they were fine. But it was when they started to flake on the knee that I was like, oh, I can't really get around that now. I'm not going to like go over it with a black pen. <laughs> so I bought another pair. I really can't rate these more, guys. Um, I, I could rave about these until the cows come home, to be honest. They are the most fantastic investment piece I think you could um, go for. These actually came from the Stella McCartney store in the UK, actually. They're great all year, but for autumn, winter, these are a gem. For any of you who have bought those before, or haven't bought those because you like things skinnier, Stella McCartney have just launched a skinny version. And I was like, Sign me up, oh my god, I need them. So the cool thing about these is that they've got the faux leather down the front, but then on the back, it's like a cotton feel. I remember years ago, I had a similar thing from Reese. I think they were actually real leather on the front, cotton on the back. And there, it's such a great way of styling a leather trouser because the cotton keeps them really like more supple and easier to get into and just a bit more wearable sometimes in a really skinny leather trouser. These are amazing, I'll be honest, I'm going to send these back and get a, a bigger size. So I got these in the 34 and they're just a little tiny bit too tight on me. Um, I want to feel, because I know I'll wear these so much, I want them to at least feel a little bit more comfortable. So I'm gonna send them back and get the 36. They fasten with a button and then a popper. So there isn't as much give, you know, but I think these are amazing. Again, a great autumn essential. I just thought I'd throw these in here for any of you who are looking for like a faux leather trouser um, and would like something skinny. And as a third option, guys, for any of you who do love those trousers already, they now come in this like beige gray, like grayish. Great for wearing with black or white. A little bit more difficult to wear with other colours, I must admit, just because these are very cool toned and a lot of the things I own are warm toned. So they'll clash a little bit, but a white or a black is great. If you wear a lot of white or black, these will be fantastic. They're super stylish and they're just a really fantastic piece for your wardrobe, again, for autumn. I think it's so nice to mix in lighter tones. Like, don't feel like you have to go black, black, black for autumn because it, you know, it's such gloomy days and you feel like black is still flattering. Definitely mix in your neutrals still, your whites, um, beiges, camels. I think that they're such beautiful tones for the autumn. So these are a great find. They were shipped from a store called Cumini in Italy, I believe. Next up, the blazer of dreams. You know how I feel about a camel blazer? And I saw this one. The blazer comes with this belt, thin belt, with this buckle attachment, it just gives it a really a utilitarian style to it. It feels a bit more androgynous, a little bit more masculine. Um, I also went up a size in this. I think I have this in the 36. Just to give it a little bit more of a boxy fit, and I think it looks amazing actually on. Um, it has this yellow detailing around the collar, which adds just a little bit extra flair to it. It's not just fully camel. I mean, that's why I really love Stella McCartney, because they make some wonderful more basic wardrobe essential pieces but then they add a little extra 
detail. So that yellow I loved, Alex loves that too, but it's the belt for me that really kind of brings this together and makes it a really fantastic piece. I mean, you could probably buy a belt like this as well, but I just really loved the overall style. It's also very lightweight as well. So this is the kind of thing that I likely will style over the top of something like what I'm wearing today. Drapes beautifully, the fit is gorgeous on this. Um, and like I said about the shoulders, just has a little bit more of a boxy fit, but I love the little yellow. But if you're into collecting your blazers and you love Stella McCartney and you're after just something a bit more unique, then I think this is a really great piece. But like I was saying earlier about the black bodysuit, I also have gone for this nude bodysuit. I have this in black as well, although that has a bit of a tonal blue tone to it, strangely. But I also have it in black and I've, I honestly have worn it so much since I got that, that I thought, you know what, let's get the nude. This looks amazing paired underneath the Stella McCartney blazer. Just as that tonal piece that just goes under everything as an essential. So again, like I said, if, even if you just want like a secondary layer to layer under something like this, uh, you know, for extra warmth, and then you can take this off and you've got just a bodysuit underneath, say if you go in a cafe and it's boiling hot. But this is just such a great piece for an essential. And last but not least, of course, I could not miss out boots as part of my autumn essentials. I didn't have any creamy boots actually to wear for winter somehow. And these are amazing. I just adore these so much. I love the darker heel detail and the dark um, sole around the boot just adds some contrast. This is a beautiful suede in a gorgeous cream. It's not too light either, it's kind of like a beige cream. And they're a fantastic calf length height. This kind of calf length is a little bit more, it's even more wearable, whether you're wearing like midi dresses, these look fantastic. Even if you're wearing a mini skirt or a mini dress, again, they just look great, just add extra leg in between. But also with like maxi length coats, like this would look so great with my new Holland Cooper coat that we're bringing out in a couple of weeks. You know, they're just a really essential piece for me. They're so stylish. If you're looking just to kind of amp up your wardrobe and go a bit more stylish for the autumn winter, honestly, please do look to a pair of boots like this because I just don't think you can really go wrong. These came from a store called Deliberti, which I guess again might be in Italy. But the thing that's so amazing about Farfetch is that when I ordered all of this, that everything arrived within a day and a half, two days tops. It's amazing how quickly get everything to you. So yeah, these are the last piece. It's like my autumn essential. So don't forget guys, 10% off Farfetch if you wanna buy anything for your wardrobe. But for the rest of this video, like I said, we're gonna be in Milan showing you everything that I'm doing and also wearing these pieces. So you'll see them on me fully. Plus, I'll be wearing a number of other things as well, obviously, for a few different events. Everything that I'm wearing will be linked down below from Farfetch, so you can use your 10% off. Hopefully you enjoy that. Right, I'm gonna go get on with the rest of my day and um, my unpacking and packing and all that boring stuff. So I'm gonna kind of skip for now straight on to Milan. Hey guys. We are here for Milan Fashion Week. We checked into our hotel room a couple of hours ago. I love this hotel. Let me show you what I'm looking at. So this is a view out of our room. These completely open, but I'm just keeping them shut for the sake of the noise down there, but it looks straight into the Galleria. I've always wondered which room this was. It was it's, on, it's literally on the corner of this like, octagon shape. I always wondered how you got this bedroom. And now we're in it. <laughs> Actually, completely unexpectedly, I didn't realise that this was that room. But we stayed here a few times. It's called the Galleria Vic Milano. We stayed here a few times. And this time we just decided to go for a slightly bigger room. And we got this one. We've just dropped on this time, I think. I've been shooting all day a campaign for Todd's, literally for hours. And now we're about to go out for a Brunello Cuccinelli event with Oliver Peoples. They've done like a collaboration for their eyewear. So I'm a big fan of Brunello and Alex is a big fan of Oliver Peoples. We thought we'd go along and check out their new eyewear collection. I'm wearing a brand new jumper today. It was just sent over by the Tory Birch team and I'm just a little bit in love with it. And I'm wearing my Brunello trousers that I love so much. I'm just going to wear a pair of heels. I'm standing here because although it probably is so fuzzy still, it's better than in here. It's very dark in this room. It kind of adds to the ambience and the, the romanticness of this room, but it is quite dark. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take my Jean Vito's and my little Fendi peekaboo, I think. Found a bit of light. <laughs> so we're currently at the Brunello Cuccinelli event with Oliver Pools and it is the most beautiful collection of sunglasses. The thing I love the most, <laughs> I love this case. So you can put in like four glasses, four glasses, lock them both up, and then it pushes together like a little case for all eight. So I desperately want to buy one of these. Yeah. These are just one of the types of frames and a few different colours. I think there's like 25 skews all together, five different shades. I really like these ones, these are so cool. This is the Nino. How chic, even just the glasses cases are. So chic. Honestly though, I could spend hours shopping in the store. <laughs> so good, Alex. <laughs> Everything is, I mean, I'm just seeing this beautiful luggage bag. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, they look so comfortable, don't they? Mm. Corduroy trousers. So everything is so beautifully made. It's just so luxurious. Guys, I'm so, so happy. We were chatting to the lovely ladies at um, Brunello and they recommended the special pizza for pizza because we wanted pizza and oh my goodness, it just arrived. This is enormous. Tuna pizza and Alex has tuna with pepper, I think. This, looks, this smells divine. I am halfway through finishing off my, wow. Halfway through finishing off my face, so look, this light is fabulous. I'm absolutely, by the way, just gonna give another shout out to this foundation. I know I watched it last week, no, the week before that, with Clay de Poe. I can't rave about this more. It's all I wanna wear right now. I just think, let me get to a place where you can actually see it and it's not blasted. I just think it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I'm a little bit sad because I feel like I'm going through the tube really fast, but I'm absolutely in love with the coverage and the glow. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so, so the excitement is real. So whenever we stay in Milan, hear me out on this, but Starbucks, there's a Starbucks here in Milan. It's called the Reserve, Starbucks Reserve. And it's like a roastery place. There's only about three or four, I think, in the world. And they're like supreme coffee. Usual Starbucks, I'll drink it, but as you guys know, it's not the best coffee ever. Starbucks Reserve is next flipping level coffee. It is amazing. So we've been so excited about it. Because we're, we're staying in the Galleria, it's only, what, a minute's walk away? Two minutes walk or so? Yeah, it's like literally a minute on the road. Yeah, it's literally over there. So Alex has been this morning while I've been getting ready. Tell us about croissant is unreal. It's hazelnut, hazelnut chocolate. Like Kinder Bueno. Oh my goodness, stop like it. I can Kinder see Boyner. it, I can see get, it in the get. middle. Oh, Is that your one? That's my one. What, have you got me the same one? That's oh my one. gosh, babe. Oh my goodness, this is what I want in a moment. And where's my coffee? It's mine. To be honest, guys, I'm going to tell you about Starbucks. I know for a fact we'll be going again, probably later. So I'll show you it. But anyway, it's really gorgeous inside. Coffee is, I mean, look how cool the cups are. By the way, I haven't shown you the room. So I couldn't show you this yesterday because it was so dark in here. This morning we had the beautiful morning light from the Galleria. So this bed is uber comfortable, like so comfy. Big bed, lovely wardrobe. I've got everything hung up in here. I've got all of my different outfits all hung up ready. All of my shoes I've got ready down here. I've got like my belts and accessories and whatnot on here. So this is, is just perfect. We even have a desk. So that's why Alex was working from there yesterday, which was great. Little chair. But then into this room, we've got a huge, enormous double sink. Sorry, this is such a mess now. I've got like our clothes everywhere, but a big bath and a big shower. And again, this room looks out into the Galleria. So this is by far the best room that we stayed in here. And then out onto the view below. So there's a brand new Dior there that we haven't yet shopped. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> Prada, Louis Vuitton is over there. I mean, also a lot of these restaurants here, by the way. So say if you came to stay here, a lot of these restaurants here, yes. I mean, you could say they're like tourist traps and they are, but I must admit the times we've gone there after shows and we just want to have a really quick bit of food before we come back. Honestly, like the food is really good. 
really good like we've had pizzas we've had pastas and it's always really delicious yeah it's a bit more money because it is a tourist area but yeah i would recommend them to be honest i think they're really good i mean italians might not think so but i think the food is pretty delicious and then this morning we've had a delivery um, and it was actually delivered by two gorgeous ladies from the bulgari team like hand delivered these are five brand new bulgari bag styles this is like a little like hobo bag just beautiful never seen anything like this before from bulgari it's got a top handle as well as this beautiful chain strap um, that leads into the leather strap at the very top um, it's really quite cute and small like you could just about fit your phone in here little zip as well this is the first time i'm seeing these as well guys so this is this is really lovely um on the back it says bulgari yeah beautiful so that's brand new then we have this matte blue serpenty top handle bag this has a silver hardware perfect for any of you guys who like silver um this is just absolutely beautiful so gorgeous in this kind of it's almost a um it's not a baby blue i want to say it's a bit like that cerulean blue from um from devil wears prada then we have this perforated leather one so these are our little holes that have been cut into the fabric so beautifully for the sunburst effect cream serpenty on the front and they come all the way down the back so that's that's a really special design then we have diamond blast actually bag here again in this beautiful kind of sunburst stitching in this beige tan and with a lovely leather strap into into the gold strap and it fits so much in here they're such fantastic bags but this is a beautiful new colorway and then this is brand new this is so beautiful look how cute this is so it's just like a little box bag really structured gorgeous little serpenty heads on the zips and in fact they go up the strap too just notice that little feature that is lovely this is like a champagne and a cream bulgari just in the very top here a little top handle i mean what a gorgeous little evening bag that is just to hold on to yes so those are the brand new bulgari styles and we're going to be heading out soon into milan to shoot those for a reel i just need to come up with some ideas for this reel first of all okay right i'm going to carry on getting ready and we'll see you out there So I've just corralled my hair, so it's nice and loose waves. And then I'm wearing a number of my new pieces that I showed you at the start of the vlog. So this Chill and McCartney blazer is just unreal. Like I said, I sized up one size. I think I've gone for 36 with this. Just gives me a little bit more room on the shoulders, made it a bit more boxy. I love the fit. My favourite feature is probably this belt. I just think it makes it feel a bit more kind of utilitarian. And um, just gives it a bit more of a chic feel the way it pulls it together. I also love the fact that it's quite lightweight as well, this blazer, so it's not going to be too hot today. Alex's favourite feature is this yellow section. So cool. You love that, don't you? So, yeah, and then I have that over the Jill Sander bodysuit. So, like my black one that I own and I haven't stopped wearing, I just thought this would be such a great minimal bodysuit piece. Um, and it really is, I think it just works with so many outfits, especially with the blazer, like this kind of lets the blazer do all the talking, so love that. Um, I'm just wearing a pair of Holland Cooper shorts, actually, like silky shorts, that I thought would work quite nicely just underneath. You can barely see it because of the blazer, which again, I quite love that. And then I'm wearing the boots, the Paris, Texas boots. Um, they're so comfortable. I love the material. I think the shade is just, it's like a gorgeous ivory suede and I love the darker detail on the heel, which kind of works with the shorts that I'm wearing. Yeah, and I've just kind of styled it up with the Bulgari bag, my Bulgari jewellery, Bulgari sunglasses, because we are going shooting with Bulgari now. So, right, let's go, babe. Bit 
in love with this place. It's so nice. So I'm gonna coffee and some other drinks and some pasta. Right, back to the room after a long shoot, shooting that reel. It's a bit nightmarish when you've got so many people around you walking through your shop, but you know, can't be helped. You just gotta be very patient. It's quite difficult. Anyway, back at the room. We've had a little invite arrive. This is a very bougie invitation. Wow. Whoa. That's a vinyl. Like a vinyl. Yeah. And poor Armani, the way we are, 40 years. Wow, cool. Yeah, it's a gorgeous 40th anniversary, the way we are. Look at this, this magazine. Oh, I'm definitely going to take this home and keep it. Oh, wow, cool. I wonder if it actually plays. Yeah, it will do. That's who's got tracks on the back of it. Is it. I wonder if it's the tracks from the show, maybe. Maybe. Oh, wow, this is well cool. What a great, great little gift as well. I'm definitely, definitely keeping this just to kind of remember it. That's cute. Thanks, Armani. That is awesome. And we've had some Bulgari glasses sent over. I think these might have been actually for the shoot that we've just done and they've arrived a little bit too late. We maybe were a bit quick off the mark, but these are amazing. Oh, babe, look at these. Oh, they're cool. They're cool. Look at that green. Yeah, they're awesome. But do you know what? These, these will go so well with my beautiful new suits, mm. won't they? With my green suit. So we are just now at the Max & Co presentation. So they've collaborated with Margarita Mizzoni. So there are some really gorgeous bright pieces in here for spring summer. Hello. <laughs> My favourite piece by far is this shirt. So everything will be out in February for kind of like springtime. Love that. I think that is so gorgeous. There's some really beautiful knitwear as well. All with the the daisies because apparently margarita means daisy love these jeans these are really really nice and i love how they stage this inside of this restaurant baccaro montepelio baccaro monte oh, we're gonna come back here anyway to the restaurant because it looks so cute this full suit moment with the matching shorts love that back here again <laughs> we have just been like laptop clubbing for the last few hours to be honest. We went out, we shot our outfit, we shot the reel which took hours, came back here, we had our COVID test done so that we can fly home. What a rigmarole that is, can't wait until October 4th when that is gotten rid of. And then now I'm in my next outfit. Um, where can I put these shape? This is a beautiful dress from Tory Burch for the Tory Burch presentation that we're going to with the coolest boots. Um, these are so fab. They're called, the colour of these is banana pudding. I'm wearing um, Charlotte Tilbury. This is Super Cindy. Just a little bit more corally and deeper. Oh, I'm just in love with this dress though. So. Okay guys, we've made it to Tory Birch. We're actually late. We were last in. However, I'm just so glad that we get a little minute to peek at the brand look new it collection. That, yeah, the bucket hat. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at these enormous pockets and this beautiful waistband into this little sort of lightweight knit number. This is a bit of me, I think. Finally, I am in love with this. This shirt, that's so crisp. And then with this, oh wow. Oh, look at those buttons. Brodery, detail, stunning. I mean, look at this location as well for a presentation. This is so beautiful. Oh, it's really lightweight, like really lightweight and almost like quite pearlescent. Gorgeous belt. Good morning guys. Today is technically our last day and also quite a lovely chill day, which makes me really, really happy. We only have two things to do today. First of all, I want to shoot my Versace look. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to be here for the Versace show. We're heading back tomorrow morning early. Fingers crossed there are no delays because it's a very tightly scheduled trip 
back up to Manchester. As I mentioned in a, in a recent vlog, we have a wedding to go to of one of my oldest friends, Lucy. She also came to our wedding and she's had to replan this wedding three times due to COVID. So this is a really, really special one and we're so excited to be there. So that is on Friday. So Friday morning, early, early, we are getting out of Milan to London. Then we're gonna fly London to Manchester and pray that there are no delays because it's so tight. The issue is that we couldn't have left today because the flights out of here were too early and we would have missed um, events that we had planned in and had already confirmed. So um, because of the bad times, the planes, I'm just hoping it works out. Anyway, the Versace show is also tomorrow and it's one that I adore going to. And so I have managed to get myself all dressed in Versace today and we're gonna go and shoot a look just so I have something to post in support of the show. So I'm wearing the most incredible silk Versace shirt. Underneath, I have my bralette that I wear all the time. Honestly, it's it really is an investment piece. I have a lot of people messaging me about this bralette because a lot of people see it and they love it and they wanna buy it and then they see the price. So I've had a lot of people ask me, is it really worth that price? For me, it really is because I've worn it, as you may have seen, so many reels, so many outfits where I've been out and about in this bralette. I'll leave it linked below on Farfetch. I'm pretty sure there's also a brand new one of this that's out this season. I'll also leave this shirt linked for you. So so yeah, for me, it's, it's an incredible piece to wear under blazers, under shirts. Even I could have worn this bralette just with these black trousers as well tucked in. Again, I'll try and link these black trousers for you because I can't tell you how many times I get asked about these black trousers. Again, they're an enormous investment piece, but there's, I've never seen a tuxedo trouser like it. Anyway, anyway, so we're gonna go and shoot Versace. I digress, we're gonna go shoot this Versace look now. So I've got some lovely pictures and blog posts, and then we're gonna come back, I need to get ready for the Armani show, um, and then we'll be heading to there. So we're going in a minute, we're just editing up. Alex is just finishing up a little edit of the Tory Burch outfit that we shot last night. It's all such a rat race of like, shoot, edit, upload, shoot, edit, upload, or it's like, shoot, 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 edit, 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 upload. So we're trying to stay on top of it. Hey guys, in honesty, we've, um, we just had a bit of a busy one. We've been shooting this look out in the back of the line. It took us about 30 minutes to find somewhere, but we liked to take a photo. Big yellow wall. Big yellow wall. Or a yellow basket. I'll insert a pic. I'll insert a pic. And, um, and then we've just been creatures of absolute habit and You've really. <laughs> we wanted to get a coffee. So we went back to Starbucks again and ended up getting some pizza and coffee and coke. So we're all caffeined up now. Nothing yet. Oh, this is so great. Now we're a little bit late. We have to head back and get ready. Yeah, and to get ready. Oh, wow. This makes me look so chic, this little scarf thing, babe. <laughs> okay, I'm into my last outfit of Milan Fashion Week. Somehow it's come round already, which is just amazing. And we're going to the Emporio Armani show. And I think this might be my favorite Emporio outfit that I've ever worn before. I absolutely love it. It's full velvet. Um, it's this deep teal with bits of purple. Love this little button detail. It's a full like wrap dress, but it's full maxi. It did come actually with a skirt that I assume you can kind of put underneath it and layer it. Now, if it was a freezing cold day, I'd do it. But I don't think I really need that with with it. So I've just worn it as like this, or I thought it would be very warm. Um, then this look comes with these incredible green velvet boots. Oh, and I'm cool. a little bit in love with these. And they look so good. Looks like the same material as my shoes, doesn't it? Yeah, it does really. It looks so good outfit. And then it also comes with this scarf that I've just tied round, which again I just just love it. I think it looks so cool, so chic. Um, but otherwise, I'm wearing like my Edge of Ember, my beautiful um, Lariat necklace, and I'm wearing all of my, for example, like the Veneto hoops and the Riviera stud. And then on this side, I'm wearing a Luxor cuff as well. 
and lots of the different rings, like the Havana ring, and I've got the beautiful pearls on. I've literally just gone full out with my beautiful Edge of Ember collection, but then the Armani look, but I don't have a bag that's Armani. I thought this worked quite well, the beautiful ball grip with the metallic blue chain strap. Do you think? I think that goes quite nice. Yeah, definitely the handle it does, It pops yeah. a little bit, the handle looks good. The camera picks it up a lot brighter than it actually is. What, the, the dress? Yeah. Kind of like that. And then my hair, I've just put into this kind of messy pony and I've just wrapped this round just to try and, yeah, keep it all together. And then on my lips, I'm wearing Super Cindy, again, to Charlotte Tilbury. And the Clay de Peau foundation, because I don't know where anything else. And that's it, what do you think? Looks it's, great. This is one of my favorite looks of the whole fashion week. Yeah, so the, I really love the neck thing.